Hi guys, it is Monday. Welcome to a new reading vlog and a new, new reading week. I have things to tell you. Um, first off, to start, my little reading update is I finished Lead the White last night. Yay! Um, to wrap things up on Lethal White, I gave it a four out of five stars because overall the good bumped it up from a 3.75 to a four. Honestly, I could have done without the relationship nonsense, to be completely honest. I felt like that was a little bit overdone and over dramatic. I mean, I've not been in that situation, so I can't say for sure what I would do, but just in terms of character and storyline, I don't think it was really necessary. Um, second, I think the whole ending kind of was a little bit too easy almost. They've spent so many pages trying to figure out what happened and what went on, and then all of a sudden, everybody just started sharing the story. Like... It just felt a little bit too easy, but it was still a really nice read. Still a really good book. I still highly recommend. I still recommend it. You know, good series to check out. They're they're pretty like straightforward to read once you get past a couple of things. The relationship drama in this one. Um, and so yeah, I enjoyed it. So four out of five stars for that one. I think what I'm gonna pick up now is Jodi Picoult's Leaving Time. Um, this was on my, like, last TBR list that I did. It's kind of like, um, almost like a last chance read. I've had this book for a very long time. Do I want to admit how long I've had this book? Since 2015. And I haven't read it yet. Um, I really do like, where did I even buy this from? Hold on. The, the receipts in here, that's the only reason I know it. I bought it from the a shop in the Columbia Airport, Columbia, South Carolina. There we go. Bought this to read on an airplane and never read it. Um, I will say this is this does like interest to me, obviously. I picked it up for a reason. This is the last book on the last TBR that I did. So, I mean, here we go. We're just gonna give it a shot. If I can't get into it, I can't get into it, but I need to at least try. It's kind of like it's last chance to be read in my library before it goes bye bye to somebody else's library. So, gonna start that one tonight and cross your fingers I get into it and we have a new book to read this week. Otherwise, I don't really know what I'm gonna read. So, here we go. Um, I hope you guys have had a wonderful start to your week. Morning, guys. I want to take a few, a quick update, I guess, as we are getting ready to head out the door, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me to where we're going. More on that in a minute. Um, quick update. I started leaving time last night. I got eight pages in and started crying because Jody Picoult just tumbles something in my soul, apparently. Um... I am gonna continue on reading it though because I am intrigued. So, um, sorry, I'm kind of like cleaning up because like I said, we're getting ready to go somewhere very exciting. Somewhere that I haven't been in too long and I need to go back to. And that is, dun -dun -dun, the bookstore. That's right, we are going to the bookstore this morning. I'm gonna let the boys pick out a book for themselves. Oh gosh. I'm gonna let the boys pick out a book for themselves that they want to to get and then I might pick out a book for myself I don't know I'm gonna actually stop so I'm going to Barnes & Noble there's a Starbucks next to Barnes & Noble and I'm actually gonna get a coffee I haven't had coffee in a really long time but I feel like I truly really, I want the full experience and I don't just want to have tea this morning I don't know. I'm just in a coffee mood. It's unusual, but it happens every once in a while. So, I'm gonna have coffee, pick up some food, um, some breakfast, and yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. Kind of, sort of, maybe. We'll see. Hurry, right, come here. Look!
so we're back from the bookstore welcome back to my kitchen this just happens to be where the best lighting is right now um but i figured i would share what we got at the bookstore now before i give everything to my kids to go play with it so i said i wanted to go get a couple things i cut a couple things um to start i'll start with the kids stuff so they can have it and go but i got that's when I'm happy by written by Beth Shoshan and illustrated by Jacqueline East. This was in their like bargain books and I just thought it was really cute and it goes through it's very it's autumn very autumn so we're good with that but it just goes through all different things about when this baby bear is happy and I just thought that that was the sweetest thing. So there's that one there you go. I gave that to my kid who spotted it. I also picked up the Disney Baby My First Words. Um, these are just, they're, I mean, it's just your typical kid's book. I'm talking about words, cause that's what you do when you're a kid and you're a parent and you get all these books about words. And then the last thing I picked up was a preschool workbook for our older son who is getting to the age where we gotta start working on all this stuff. Um, then I picked up two notebooks because apparently you can't go to Barnes & Noble without picking up notebooks along with books. But I just got this plain one. I just love, I love this. I was torn actually between the music one and then there was a letter writing one and you can only pick, I wanted to only get one because these are so ludicrously expensive. It's insane how much these cost. Um, and I ended up picking this one because music is so, so important to me and I just really liked the way the sheet music looked. There's my planner explanation, planner, journal explanation for you. And then I also got a Write the Story. This was another bargain price one. Um, and this is just different writing prompts. I figured this would be a fun thing to do. And who knows? I'm working through writing a book. I haven't actually publicly talked about this within the Cozy Bookshop community, but I am working on a book. Um, and then I have ideas for other books and I just thought something like this is really good for expanding your writing and practicing your writing and all that good stuff. So over explanation of two journals, down. And then finally, the books that I got myself. I limited myself. I wanted to get like five books. Realistically, I would have bought the whole damn store to be completely honest. There is something very dangerous about going to a, hold on. I just realized the background noise in this little clip is super bad. I am so sorry. Um, okay, Let's see if that'll keep them occupied for like two minutes while I talk about this. The problem with going to a bookstore for me is I walk in and I'm like, okay, I want this book and this book and I come out with like 50 new books that I want to read. It's a problem. Bookstores are so dangerous. Not only do I always walk out with more than I went in for, but I walk out with like 50 new books that I want to get that are on my list to buy at some point. It's crazy. So the first one I picked up is Siddhartha by Herman Hess. Um, this is just a novel that explores the struggle of the soul to see beyond the illusions of humankind and achieve a deeper wisdom through spirituality. This goes along with a lot of books I've been writing recently, actually. And then I got a fiction called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. This is literally why I picked this book up. This, the, the title, the picture, it just sounded super interesting. It is um, part true crime murder story and then part like life in a small town with eccentric crazy people. Super looking forward to this one actually. Um, yeah, so that is my little book haul for you from my Barnes and Noble trip. I found I'm gonna go place probably a Barnes and Noble order for more books that I want. Cause I, to be fair, I'll probably put a whole bunch of books in my Barnes and Noble cart and then wait two weeks and then place the order, but same concept. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. 
Good morning guys. It is Thursday morning. I'm a little bit quiet because everybody is still asleep in the house and I want them to stay asleep. It's very important to stay asleep for 15 more minutes. Um, but I figured I would come on and chat as I make my morning tea. Why not? Um, I'm doing this morning's tea. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna do it normal. I was gonna say I'm doing it a little bit different. We're leaving the house this morning to go get our flu shots. So, everything's a little frazzled already this morning. Um, not really frazzled, but leaving the house early with two young children just requires a lot of preparation. A lot of preparation. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get so started I've already got my water heating to boil I still have to make breakfast for everybody I'm not running behind I'm running on time which to me is behind <laughs> at least pre children me it would be like you're running behind post children me is a little bit more like on time is good on time is okay um, so yeah, I am going to come back here in just a second. I'm going to get my tea stuff and chat with you guys about Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. Alright, so I've got my Cozy Bookshop Signature Blend. This is what I have every morning. You guys should know this by now. Most mornings, I should say. Sometimes I switch it up. And I mix that with the Taylor's of Harrogate Scottish Breakfast Blend. Um, more of this like a sprinkle of this um i'm putting that in my forte this is enough for me for one cup for me it's like a cup and a half really i think and that's just me this would probably be two cups for anybody else but i drink a lot of tea and i have my adventure mug from anthropology that i'm using today um I didn't really know which mug I wanted to use because I'm not really going to be able to enjoy it today. I mean, I'll still enjoy it, but, you know, um, when you're leaving the house, it's a different kind of enjoyment. You're faster. Let's move you a little bit more closer. We can ignore the dishwasher that needs emptying in the background, right? Um, okay, so Leaving Time by Jody Pickholt. I am 70 roughly roughly 70 pages in it's only i say only it's about 400 pages long so i can totally read it in a decent period of time my problem is eight pages in i was ready to cry like i was crying in bed my husband thought i was crazy but i was like tears were welling up in my eyes and I haven't got that feeling since then if that makes sense like I feel now I feel a little bit kind of meh about it um not in like a bad way but in like a why why am I struggling to get into this right now kind of way and to me it's it's hard to say because I've been getting so many books in. I've been making my like end of the year reading goals and like the books that I want to read before the year ends. So I've got all these other books swirling in my head. So I don't know if that's like playing into it because it's a really good book and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just struggling to like fully get into it. Um, I also think something that's not really helping that is I haven't even quite figured out how many characters like viewpoints we're following. We've got the mom and hers isn't even like a viewpoint. It's like snippets of stuff about elephants, which I actually am really like intrigued and I'm really enjoying all the little snippets about elephants. But so it's not really like a viewpoint or anything. It's just facts about elephants from the mother so we've got that we've got the the daughter's perspective and hers is like present day perspective we've got at least two others that 
I started last night. So you're looking at four perspectives. One that isn't even like a present day, like it's just that. And I'm sure it'll grow into more than just facts about elephants later on. But that that's a lot to try. And I love that Jodi Picoult does that. Like the past two, so I've read, this is my third Jodi Picoult. I guess I should say this. This is my third Jodi Picoult novel. I love her novels because they really like punch you in the gut and you're left feeling like, oh. now um i love jody pickle's novels because of that because because she punches you right in the gut and you're just like oh like what just happened and you're crying and you're trying to like sort through all your feelings and i love that feeling i love when a book just like does that and it is so fantastic but at the same time like this is the most perspectives I think I've followed in a book so far. So I read 19 Minutes and The Storyteller. The Storyteller by far is one of my favorite books of all time. Like that book changed my life. Um, and I only say that about a few books. You've probably already heard it in recent weeks. But um, I loved that book and it made me want to read more of hers. But I just it's a lot of perspectives to follow and I, I just I feel like I'm struggling right now so um I'm gonna keep going though like I'm gonna give myself another like 50 to 100 pages to see if it is just it could just be the fact that I'm like picking out all these other books and I want to read so many books right now and I just I can't um so that's yeah I'm like I'm loving it I'm really enjoying it and like I said I feel like we got that gut punch and now it's kind of just like working our way back from the gut punch to get to another gut punch but I'm missing the like connection to that so that's kind of sad but it is what it is um I didn't update you guys yesterday because I just ran out of time we're we're moving um in like four months we're moving out of where we are now in like two and a half months so it's like there's a lot going on um which i've already kind of told you guys about a little bit but yesterday we just had a lot of appointments to get to for that and a lot of just like admin things that we had to get done um so i didn't really get a done i got a decent amount done last night but i just didn't get a chance to update you guys i didn't get a chance to read you um to do much reading so that's kind of where i'm at right now um i feel like i've done a whole lot of talking and not a lot of like talking like i feel like i've done a lot of this and none of it makes sense and maybe that's because i just am not making sense to myself about this book Maybe I'm trying to read too much into it. I don't know. I don't know. I just would hate to think. I don't think it's that the book is not for me. I, I think it's it's more of like a me issue than a book issue. Um, to be completely honest. And that's okay. So. Yeah. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with reading. That's my update. And I'm just going to go back to making my breakfast and buttering toast right now um and i will update you guys a little bit later on i'm probably not today today's our wedding anniversary so there's probably not going to be a lot of reading going on today tonight um because we're doing a little i don't know family celebration i usually want to spend some time with my husband in the evenings um so Anyway, um, yeah, there probably won't be too much reading today, but I'm going to try and get a little bit in, um, if I can, but I'm not really going to stress it. This weekend, um, we don't have much going on. I'm going to try and take my kids to the park pretty much, but that's about it because husband's got a paper due in school, so he'll be writing all weekend. Um, but yeah, that is my very God long winded update. I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. 
Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning. And for the first time like all week I actually read last night. Like really read. Um, I'm on page 107 of Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. Today is going to be like my last attempt day at reading this book. If I can't really get into it and really make some progress with it, I'm going to put it aside for now. I feel like Jodi Picoult really deserves my like full attention in a book and I'm just not giving that to be completely honest. So like I said, today is going to be like my last attempt. If I can't read it, I'll put it aside and pick up something different. I don't know if it's just this particular book isn't there's something about it or if I'm just really excited to read the books that I've pulled out for the rest of the year I don't know but that's where I'm at it's Saturday we have no plans today I'm just gonna try and go for a walk but it's kind of a gloomy cooler day so I think it's better if the kids don't go play outside basically so it sounds like a good day to spend all day reading so that's what I'm gonna do I will bring you guys along with me and update you as I get some reading done. First, and most important, hello, hello, hello. It is a little bit later now, it's like five, six o'clock in the afternoon and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a reading update and then I'll do another one before I go to bed so you guys kind of get an idea. I'm currently on 176 of Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. It's starting to pick up maybe a little bit more. I don't really know. I'm gonna keep trying and we'll see when I go to bed tonight how I feel. So that is my update. There's not really much to say because I don't really have any real feelings about this one right now yet. It punched me in the gut eight pages in and now it's kind of like, mm. so we'll see how I feel before I go to bed and we'll see if I'll continue it tomorrow or not. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, it's 9.30. This week is like the week of, sorry I didn't update you. Um, I ended up reading and reading and reading and then bawling my eyes out and then going straight to bed. And the funny thing was, I was laying in bed last night and I was like, I really should do this. I should just do this now, I should record it. But then I fell asleep. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I am on 375. I only have 25 pages left of Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. So I'm going to be finishing it short, shortly. Hence why I'm updating you guys right now. I'm just about to finish it and I wanted to do this, then finish it, do a final update for the week, and then <clears throat> pick something new to read because I'm probably still going to read another book. Um, okay, a couple things I wanted to touch base on. First of all, when I read a book and I get a little bit, there's a point that I get, it's probably a little bit over halfway through the book where I am like, I think I'm going to give it about this rating. This is where I'm sitting at. And you guys will normally hear me say that. I'll normally be like, it's probably about a year. I didn't really do it for leaving time because let's be honest, this week has just been kind of a bad reading and vlogging week. So I didn't really like do that. I would have done it less yesterday I think if I did it all if I did good for you guys and I will say up until last night I was quite honestly torn as to what I was gonna read this book I wanted to give it like a three and a half out of five because I really something about the book wasn't resonating with me now I say this all because I'm about to like completely blow your mind but up until yesterday afternoon something about the book just wasn't really truly resonating with me and then last night i just hit the point where jody picoult always gets you and i cried and my rating went up to a four out of five stars so i'm sitting at a four out of five stars for this book um the writing the story it's beautiful it's not there's something about it that's still 
does it quite resonate with me, which is why I'm out of four out of five stars, but it's a wonderful, wonderful book. So, I am gonna go finish it. I will come back in and let you guys know my final thoughts and chat with you then. All right, it's like 45 minutes later and I finished Leaving Time by Jodi Picoult. I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It didn't quite resonate with me like the storyteller did, but it was still a beautifully written, beautifully done story, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I am gonna go ahead and wrap this reading vlog up for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I will talk to you guys next week.